All right, what's up, guys? So, I purchased NBA 2K21, um, the next gen console uh, version, and I have not enjoyed it at all. At all. Even sitting down trying to record this video, I'm not enjoying it because it just seems like anything surrounding this game, I always feel like a certain level of just frustration and anger, even when talking about the game. I don't want to talk about the game. I really don't want to make this video. What I really want to do, I wish GameStops was like a 24-hour uh, business and I could just go up there right now and just trade the game in, but it's not. It is 1 a.m. There is nobody at GameStops right now, but... Seriously, what this game really makes me want to do is go up to the 2K headquarters and see them like, what are you guys doing to this game? Because this whole copy and paste like method that you guys got going on, scratch that. Get through, like, take it, crumble it up, throw it as far as you can. Because this whole copy and paste method that you guys have been doing for years now, it ain't working no more. It's not. And you guys are going to keep getting bad, at least from the fans, the people that is actually sitting down and truly playing this game. You're going to keep getting bad ratings from them. You're going to most likely keep getting videos like this. You guys have to understand that people want to play this game to have fun and enjoy it. Why is it that when I play a shooting game and enjoy it, I'm having fun? I have fun playing Call of Duty. Call of Duty has been the one game where I spoke so much on where I'm like, bruh, I hate this game. I'll never play Call of Duty again. I remember I used to say that all the time when I was in high school. When really it was the other way around. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm I should have just stuck with Call of Duty. I shouldn't have ventured out. I shouldn't have, like, you know, explored my options with video games and ended up getting involved with 2K. Um, What was it? I think it was 2K13 at the time. But all the way from back then, all the way from back then, I didn't enjoy it then, and I don't enjoy it now. I don't. And that's why I'm like, it's sad because I really want to enjoy this game. That's why I got this one. That's why I got this, because I'm thinking, no, it's going to be a completely brand new, different game. Nothing different. I gave myself false hope. I honestly lied to myself. I hyped this game up in my head to make it seem like, oh, it's going to be a good game. It's going to be different because it's the next-gen console. There is nothing different about this game. So for those that, if you uh, have the old consoles, the Xbox One and the uh, PlayStation 4, you're not missing out on anything. You're not missing out on anything at all. This is literally the same game, just a $10 difference, and it's 60 frames um, per second. So that's, that's it. Like, the menus just move faster. But if you thought that gameplay was going to be different... Or anything else is going to be different? No. Like, well, of course, like, they're going to change the menus. That's about it. Like, that's honestly, so what? Earlier this year, they released 2K21. This is pretty much like 2K21.5. Like, this, you know, it's nothing really has been added to the game. Not, not that I know of. Maybe I should have played the other 2K21, the uh, last gen um, 2K21, to see what it was about. But other than that, I was like, man, I it just really makes me upset that I'm like, I purchased this game. And I spent more money on it. So that's for those that don't know, you have to spend more money on the next gen console version because I, I think they said at some point in time they're just going to raise the prices for all uh, next gen console games. So they started early. 2K started early. Uh, charged $69.99 for this game. And then, of course, it was like $59.99 for the last gen consoles. But my thing is, it's like, why are you guys charging more for it? A copy and paste this is literally a copy and paste video game there's nothing different with this i have played if the i had to say probably the only thing that has changed is it seems like that the gameplay has gotten worse it honestly seems like the gameplay has gotten worse i remember playing nba 2k20 um 2k19 2k18 2k17 2k16 i think i you know i skipped out on um a couple of years but i played I've been playing this game for some time now, and I don't understand why it is literally just the same thing over and over and over again. I'm like, how do you guys get away? It trips me out that uh, Cyberpunk 2077, they got sued for uh, their game, but I'm like, yo, 2K should honestly be out of business. Like, if we really sit down and think about it, 2K should be out of business. And I, man, I'm telling you, so is a friend of mine's because I blame, so I blame the developers, but a friend of mine, he was trying to tell me that it's like a higher up. It's the whole company. It is literally the whole company because 
if the if it's the higher up if it's their problem then they need to be shut down if it's the developers you guys should be talking to the higher up and letting them know hey look when we release these games they always do bad so can we do something different I'm saying, man, if you guys got to bring, well, okay, I think that was EA, but if you got to do something along those lines, like NBA Street Volume 2, do that. But, man, you guys keep releasing this? This is trash. NBA 2K is trash. I don't care who you put on the cover. I don't care what new things you claim that's been added to the game. The game is trash. It is trash. There is nothing new with this game. Absolutely not. You can honestly, in a place... I would recommend people to go to when you want to go see um, a review for a video game if it's available on this website. But Steam, if you go to Steam, uh, one of the first like um, so the most helpful reviews, the first one, this guy put 227 hours into this game. So I can't, I don't know when the next gen uh, version does this because it. I don't think the next gen versions they didn't come out not too long ago. But the uh, other ones they came out like three months ago, and I think the next gen version. Let me see when these ones came out. Two K twenty one next gen. It came out in. And I've been saying, wait a second. PlayStation might say it. Come on, load up. I ain't got all day. They don't even say when it got released, so it's just we just won't know when it got released. Oh, oh, so uh, last month. Last month on the 11th, and then the, uh, then the, like, pe like, last gen version came out on September 3rd, and, yeah, this guy, so I'm like, so, yeah, this guy had, like, more than enough time to put in the game, he put 227 hours in the game, and let's just, well, his, dang, his review is long, but I'm saying, like, you got that much time to write a review about this game, like, you know that you're a true, like, basketball fan, you put that, you put that much time in the game, and then you write out this long review, and you know that it ain't good, it, yeah, it's, yeah, come on now, other person, he put 50-some hours in the game, he said, I've been, so I'm just gonna, actually, I'm gonna read what this one guy said, his name is Mulder, 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 I don't know, but anyways, he said, it will honestly be fair to call uh, 2K an evil company at this point. Facts, facts. This other person said, I've been, I've played 2K for the past 5 to 10 years on my Xbox and mostly use the play now online mode. I have a good new PC and decided to buy 2K on here and the graphics smoothest will be far better. Oh, he's just, you know, saying what he's saying. And all, I've been a 2K customer for years now at the time around has made me not want to support this company anymore and find a new nba game they're honestly boycott 2k facts no they need to i think that's honestly what people just need to start doing is boycotting this company then eventually then that's when they'll be like oh well we you know we were like we were listening we were reading no you guys were not i don't my thing is just like i don't want to hear nothing that's going to make it seem like that you're trying to cater to us all of a sudden like all of a sudden when we talk about boycotting and not want to play this game no more and just just overall just because i honestly think that that was another reason why they did that when they got youtubers like cash nasty and i'm not overall trying to call out cash nasty i'm not trying to you know say he's a bad person for doing it. i'm like i think if it had been any if it had been me and they offered me money to just be in a commercial spot and play the game a couple of times i'm like okay i'm gonna do that but just know that my anger like who i am as a person that is going i'm going to stay true to myself so when I play your guys' game and I start saying certain things about it and start, you know, just overall getting mad and slamming controllers and all that, that's why they didn't get somebody like Flight Reacts. Because Flight Reacts, he be going off on that game. Cash Nasty, he hasn't really, I don't know, he hasn't, does he even play 2K anymore? I, um, honestly, I don't even see him play this game. Let me see real quick. Cash Nasty. It wouldn't even surprise me if he... Yeah, eating and working out like DK Metcalf for 24. That's actually good. Like DK Metcalf, I'm all like, yo, you eat and work out like him, you're going to be a monster by the end of the day. But anyways, uh, yeah, he's not playing 2K. Oh, wait, no, he is. He is. He is. I'm like, okay, so. But how, all right, so this Cash Nasty plays. 
he <laughs> he's playing the, he's playing among us that's when you know this game is trash when one of the biggest players in the nba 2k history is playing among us <laughs> that's he my thing is like this man has been playing i'm not saying that he's been strictly just playing basketball games but as we see he plays a lot of basketball games he stepped away from it to play among us your game is trash 2k <laughs> your game is trash do i need to say it in a foreign language i'm saying wait, wait okay hold on for a second google translates Enter detected language. All right, so let's uh, Spanish. Uh, you know what? Armenian. Armenian. 2K. Your game is trash. Let's see what this sounds like when you play it out loud. Turn it up a little bit more. That's uh, Armenian. Uh, Punjabi. Oh, they always even have like a uh, like voice thing for it. Uh, Indonesian. Dua kage manda adalah sampah. Facts. Uh, Slovak. Dva kaba shahraya odpadkovi kloš. Facts. Uh, Japanese. Ike anata no game wa gomi desu. Facts. Uh, what about Spanish? Spanish and... Dos katu juego es basura. Facts. Uh, any other languages? Filipino. I'm saying like. It's facts. And I'm like they in multiple different languages. I told y'all your game is trash. It's a trash game. And I'm like me. I just get sick and tired of like buying this game, thinking it's gonna be some. You honestly, I Cyberpunk 2077 shouldn't have been the one um, in no lawsuit. 2K should have been the one in the lawsuit. Because you guys put out this, like, false narrative about this game each and every year, making it seem like, oh, it's different from last year's. The only thing that you guys do is just change the details in the, um, of the players in the game. That's it. My player, or, yeah, my career, my team, any of that stuff. Really, and I was like, and that's another thing that I wanted to do as a shoe creator. I don't even want to turn this. I do not want this game in my Xbox. And I am trading the game in. I'm all like, I'm getting Generation Zero. I'm all like, I, I don't want to play this game no more. I don't at all. I'm like I see I see myself playing this game again and I am going to break my controller. I promise you I will break my controller and it is the only controller that I have. And I really don't want to go out of my way and get me another controller. So I'm like cuz I know I'm like well then again I'm like they might have well I will have to well they might have afterglow controllers still. I don't know, but I don't want to do that. I'm all like I like the controller that I got. So 2K it's just you won't get no play at my house. Honestly, I, that's something I'm all like, yo, if 2K is still a thing the day I have kids, I'm not going to let them play it. I'm not. I'm all like, if they, I'm like, you guys, just more so, I'm like, I do not want you to be four or five years old like myself when I was four or five years old playing video games, crying your eyes out because the game is trash. Like, don't, don't do that to yourself. I'm like, honestly, I'm all like, yo, I will let my kids play all every other video game out there from grand theft auto to fallout even though fallout scared the life out of me i would rather i honestly would rather play fallout than to play this game at least with fallout you guys would be getting much more of an entertaining show i might be stressed out sweating like a pig scared halfway out of my mind playing fallout i would rather go through all of that trouble of playing fallout than to play nba 2k because at least when i played fallout i didn't have to worry about breaking no controller I might just like turn my head and just cover my face really fast, but I ain't had to worry about breaking no controllers when I played Fallout 3 or any of the other Fallouts. But this game, I'm I'm telling you, I will lose it if I have to turn this game on again. I honestly would. And I'm like, I right, 2K, don't y'all contact me for nothing. Don't you ask me to be a part of no can the day when you guys come out with a video game where it gets like overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam and it like and that's from the fans. I'm not talking about IGN or any of these pay these companies that you're paying them to give you these uh, good reviews. No, from the fans themselves, from people like myself that's actually going out of their ways to buy this game. They're not getting the game for free. I feel like when you get the game for free, of course you're going to be like, oh, yeah, this game's good. This game's, you know, like, oh, it's okay. It's nice and all because you got it for free. But when you're somebody like myself and you spend your hard-earned money on this game, 
for it to just be trash for it to be the same game you've been playing for years now yeah i that's some type of stuff where i'm like i said it in one of my videos i'm like i really want to punch a developer that um developed this game like i i really want to punch them in their face because i'm like how do you guys get away with releasing the same game every single year for this long how Somebody explained to me. Now it's like, I remember I went online. I tried to find like find out what was the budget for like NBA 2K. Just to see overall how much money is going into this game. Couldn't find nothing. Couldn't find nothing. If I like, let me just uh, search that one. Uh, what is the budget for NBA 2K? How much does it cost to make NBA 2K? <laughs> You're lying. You are lying. The one point, nah. That's how, oh, so that's how much the company is worth, 2K. 2K's new deal with NBA. I don't care. All these pop-ups for, uh, with the NBA, for NBA 2K. It's probably worth staggering 1.1. 1. 1, a 1 point, a company that's worth $1.1 billion and you're releasing games that should be, like, two dollars that's and i'm like and i remember that i remember when they did was it two, i think it was yep it was 2k19 i remember i'm like you mean to tell me this company is worth 1.1 billion dollars but you guys got your game on the store for 2.99 really and i'm all like you are not no billion dollar company when you're charging you're pretty much giving the game away for free like that's uh that's not good but I can't find nothing uh, talking on, like, the budget um, for uh, NBA 2K. It's like, is NBA 2K pay to win? Yes, it is. It was like, it's not. No, yes, it is. I'm like, well, I mean, you, okay, so you will. So you pay to get your character better, and he's still going to suck. So, or she's still going to suck, whichever you play as. But, yeah, game is trash. You can't even find, like, the budget or anything about this game. But, I don't want to play this game no more. I'm going to throw it back there. I honestly would rather go. I would rather go through college for. I would rather go through high school and college all over again. Learn, um, you know, just get very skillful at playing basketball for real, and then uh, getting like a two day contract with a G League team or play overseas in China. I would rather go through all of that. At least I've been having me some fun. But with NBA 2K, no. I just honestly no. I no. I don't, I don't ever want to play an NBA 2K game again, and, and like unless they release a game that's uh, like five stars and it's the best NBA 2. Like when there's people that like that don't even play NBA 2K going out of their way to play NBA 2K. Like if it's like if NBA 2K gets the same hype like Among Us or Fortnite or call of duty or any of that stuff. Like when they get that same hype or when they just overall get the hype that put them into the position that they're in today that would be the only way i would play the game but if it's still going to be the same crap that they keep releasing over and over and over again i do not i don't want to ever play this game again ever in my life never i don't know how many times i need to say that in different languages because i'm telling y'all right now i will never play that game again if somebody comments all the time about oh you gotta play no that that's your answer i don't care whether you come you could go ahead and comment that's just gonna be if i don't get no response and you don't see no video in a uh, few weeks months whenever years there's your answer i ain't never playing this game again and most likely i'm gonna be dumb enough to go out and buy it and hopefully um you know when that time does come if when the they announce the next nba 2k game next year can somebody please just comment saying remember this video that you recorded don't buy it do not buy it don't buy it. You save your money or buy a game that's worth buying. Do not buy that game. I'm like, I'm telling you, I I swear I will travel back in time and I will punch myself in the face for buying a game. But or travel in the future and punch myself for buying a game. But regardless, anyways, yeah, NBA 2K is trash. Don't don't waste your money on it. This if this video didn't explain to you guys, just look at the many reviews on that game from the actual real legitimate fans. Like they cuz you know how like you know how like Rotten Tomato how they have like their review and then they have the audience review and then there's at times where Rotten Tomato will give the movie a bad rating and then there's at times when the audience will give it the best rating possible cuz they're all like, "Yo, this movie is good. We don't know what Rotten Tomato is talking about." That's how that is. You know, that's that's how that is. Of course, they're being paid to say whatever. But the fans, the people that's actually spending money to see this product or to play it, 
they're going to give you their honest um, opinion about the game. So go out, read on Steam or whatever website you can find reviews. Or you could just look on Xbox or PlayStation and see how many stars it got. And then that's how you know that the game is trash. So anyways, yeah, talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And peace.